And if you look in any, this is coming to me now, but if, even if you look at modern art, how it came, it was only inspired by very antique stuff. If you look at Picasso revolutionary painting, it was inspired by African mask, which is very old. So, you know, this thing, I, I saw it the first time just in, in Bali. For me, the subject is, it changes according to what I'm trying to represent, yeah? I'm influenced by the, the Egyptian, as I'm influenced by Duchamp, as I'm influenced by some, uh, probably, Asian artists. As long as it carries a message, it is important in your practice to develop what you're working on, mm -hmm. and that makes, uh, makes sense to, 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 to search deeper in that kind of field. I don't really try to combine where I come from and where I am. It's more for those two things for me, let's say, they integrate naturally. So it's, it's the two things, but they're not pushed towards each other. It's just going along to, at the same time. To, to finish a painting is a bit like killing it. You know, it's, it's like sort of making a, a product. So I think. A, a painting has to be like a, a open notebook, for example, where you note uh, your thinking, your uh, your directions. Yeah, I, I feel painting like that. It's not necessarily something that I finish and I look at the wall, you know. But it's a very much the sense of uh, uh, at, um, working with the hands and making something artistic out of everything you do, even though it's a little offering. But Balinese do that in, in everything. Even with their body, they have flowers, they have a very really little decoration, it's always very ornamented. They have this sense of aesthetic so developed. It's part of their life. So it goes hand in hand with an artist.